Welcome back, everybody. Ignore the sunburn. It's been a great weekend outside playing with my family, but we're back for another video. Today, we're going to give a quick video, one that's been asked a whole bunch in the comments, and this is in reference to my giving a postdoc presentation video. And one of the top questions that I keep getting asked over and over again is something along the lines of, I have only 10 minutes to give a presentation. So how can I give a good presentation to a postdoc PI slash lab in only about 10 minutes? Now, you might think to yourself that the shorter the time that you have, the easier it is to give a talk. But actually that's not true. The more time that you have, the more time you have to really build up your talk. You could give a very detailed um, introduction. You could really go into the methodology, you could go into the results, the conclusions, future directions. There's a lot that you could do when you start getting up to a 30, 45, 60 minute talk. But when you only have 10 minutes, that's not a lot. That's like four slides basically in 10 minutes. So if I was in those shoes and I was asked to give a 10 minute talk, about the research that I have been doing in grad school, this is exactly how I would go about answering this question. So the main things that you're gonna need is you're gonna need an introduction, results, and conclusions. Those are the three big things that you're gonna need. So for introduction, what I would do is very high level introduction. So I would start off with, this is the big question that's being asked in the field. You know, how does blank impact blank? And this is something that hasn't been explored before, and this is exactly what we're gonna go into. I would then move into, within either the same slide or in a subsequent slide, giving some back background context as to why this question is important. Um, depending on how you wanna set up your talk, you could switch that order. So you could kind of start with a broader context and then narrow it in, or you could kind of start with a somewhat narrow and then broaden it. I tend to do um, where I start very big and then narrow it down into this specific question, but either way can work. It just depends on the way that you present and, and how you find the most comfortable, okay? Then what I would do is go into results. Now for results, you can't go through an entire dissertation worth of results in 10 minutes. It, it's impossible. What you need to do is you need to pick the few things that you think are the most important. So maybe if you were to think of your work in terms of like one paper, say, um, you know, maybe, you know, uh, image 1A, 1B, 1C, and then if you go into figure 3A and then figure 4D, you know, and you clumped all those together, that would tell your really cohesive story. What you need to do is make sure that what you're telling is a cohesive story and that the um, panels or graphs that you're choosing to show can be standalone, meaning that you don't need to have a ton of context to understand what each of them means. So for example, if the last figure in your paper, you need to know what happened in you know the last three figures, you may not want to show that piece of data unless it's something that's really highly relevant that you're able to tie in. Okay, so what you need is some standalone things that can kind of tie, be tied together to form one cohesive story. And then conclusions, again, high level. That's the key to this is that it needs to be high level. If you go too into the weeds, you're never gonna be able to make that 10 minute cutoff. And what you don't want to do and what I often see people do when they have 10 minute talks is they end up turning them into these like really rapid fire things. So what they do is they take a 25 minute talk and then try to cram it down into 10 minutes and you start just rushing through and you're talking really fast and you're just A, B, C, D, next slide, A, B, C, D, next slide. And what happens is everybody gets lost. Before they could really understand what you're saying, you've already moved on to the next slide, okay? And, and that's really what you want to avoid. You want to get to a place where you're not rushing and talking like this and you're just rushing, rushing, rushing. You want to get to a point where you're nice and calmed, you're relaxed, you're able to talk through this slide and this slide and this slide. Like I said, 10 minute presentation and you're really giving high level intro results, conclusions, and you know, a quick acknowledgement, you're, you're really looking at four slides, four main slides at most, at most. You really don't have time to be going through six, seven, eight, nine main slides. You know, an acknowledgement slide 
that doesn't really count, a title slide that doesn't really count. I'm talking the, the nuts and bolts of your talk. So again, this is a, a much shorter video, but I wanted to get this out into a video content and into a playlist just because this is something that just keeps being asked over and over in the comments. But I am glad that that those of you that have been doing this seem to be on the right pace and, and on the right track. And when people kind of say, this is kind of what I'm gonna do, it sort of lines up pretty well with the advice that I'm giving here. So with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.